this lesson, you will work backward to solve equations. The undoing and working backwards strategy helps us focus on the order of operations and on undoing the operations in reverse order. We start with an investigation of a new kind of number trick where we can use our knowledge of the order of operations to figure out the mystery number we started with to get a certain result. In this type of trick, no matter what the ending number is, you can figure out the starting number. For example, if we end up with 4, we can use the process of undoing operations to figure out what the starting number must have been. Let's think about this description. I took a secret number, added 6, divided by 2, subtracted 9, and multiplied by 5. The result is negative 10. We can figure out the starting number by filling in a chart like this one. Notice how parentheses are used to indicate the proper grouping. Let's think about how we can undo the operations in the table. Subtraction and addition undo each other, and division and multiplication undo each other. We can fill in the next column to indicate the operation that undoes each operation. To undo times 5, we divide by 5. To undo minus 9, we add 9. To undo divide by 2, we multiply by 2. To undo add 6, we subtract 6. Remember that we ended up with negative 10 after doing all the steps. We can work up the chart starting with negative 10, and undo each operation until we find the starting number. So we begin with negative 10 and divide by 5 to get negative 2. We'll take the negative 2 and add 9. Negative 2 plus 9 equals 7. We'll take the 7 and multiply by 2. 7 times 2 equals 14. We'll take the 14, subtract 6, and we get 8. So we now know that the starting number was 8. We can check our solution by substituting it into the original equation and evaluating. Here's one for you to try. I took my secret number, divided by 4, added 7, multiplied by 2, and subtracted 8. The result was 28. Your job is to figure out what number I started with. Work backwards from the bottom of the table, undoing the original steps as you work your way up to the starting number. The same process can be used to solve some equations. An equation is a statement that says the value of one expression is equal to the value of another expression. For this lesson, we're going to focus on solving equations using a table to undo each operation in order following these steps. First, 
complete the description column using the order of operations. Second, complete the undo column. And third, work up from the bottom of the table to solve the equation. Here's an example. We can use an undo table to solve the equation x plus 4 over 2 equals 20. We complete the description column using the order of operations as our guide. We pick x, then add 4, and then divide by 2. To undo those steps, to undo divide by 2, we multiply by 2. To undo add 4, we subtract 4. We're going to start at the bottom of the table with 20 because that's what x plus 4 divided by 2 equals. Then we're going to work our way up the table. 20 times 2 equals 40. 40 minus 4 equals 36. So x must equal 36. Let's check it in the original equation. It works. Here's another one just to make sure you've got it. We're going to solve 3 plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 4 all over 5 plus 6 equals 11 using an undo table. We'll begin by picking x. We solved the equation using undo table, we got x equals 15, and the answer checked out. Okay, now it's your turn. Solve 7 plus the quantity x minus 3 over 4 equals 42 using an undo table. Much of algebra involves translating a real-world situation into an equation and finding the solution to the equation. Once you understand the situation, you can write the equation that represents it algebraically. Then you can undo the operations to solve the equation. This next example shows how to represent a real-world situation with an equation and then solve the equation by working backward undoing each operation until you reach the solution. The Kelvin scale is often used when working with the science of heat. To convert from a Fahrenheit temperature to a Kelvin temperature, subtract 32, then divide by 1.8, and then add 273. Absolute zero, the complete absence of heat, is zero Kelvin. 
find the Fahrenheit equivalent to absolute zero. Let's start by writing an equation. This equation helps us find Kelvin. We'll start with degrees Fahrenheit and subtract 32. Then we divide by 1.8. And finally, we add 273. This equation will convert degrees Fahrenheit into Kelvin. We want to figure out degrees Fahrenheit at 0 Kelvin. end up with zero. Well, let's fill out our steps. So now we're going to work backwards from zero Kelvin to figure out how many degrees Fahrenheit that is. So we just figured out that zero Kelvin equals negative 459.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's double check that answer. I'm going to check it on my calculator. And it checks out. In this lesson, we learned how to solve equations using undo tables. We won't always solve equations this way, but undo tables are perfect for now because they help us focus on the order of operations and on the process of undoing the operations in reverse order.